get my hair cut. I, I don't even think it'd be better if we had stripper poles out here, do you? No, no. no. I don't. Can you imagine naked women? No. no. Getting my hair cut just gets me. Dude, that's the best. It... Way. Oh. <laughs> So we don't want to compromise his like no alcohol for life thing. So we're either gonna jizz on his face or he has to <laughs> Which he'd rather do than take a <laughs> sip of alcohol. Which whatever, teach his own. Can you imagine though if he, I became an alcoholic and Yeah, like, but when's alcoholic? the last time you took a jizz load on your face? Okay. Why would have you become addicted to jizz loads on your face? <laughs> it's the same That's why I got you guys. <laughs> would you rather be addicted to jizz loads on your face or booze? To me, that's easy. Jizzlers. Jizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. See these rings? <laughs> Feel it. Well, you want hey. to kick Josh's ass? Ah. Okay. <laughs> we did that well, same shot with Chris Brown. No, you took it off. He's not kidding, either. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Before it happened. <laughs> get to the whole, you know, the, the music vibe and all that stuff, you guys just told me, and if this is true or false, you, okay, the two fellows, of course, Sean and Nathaniel, Nathaniel, you, you are, you, you can be, you're a doctor, or you could no, be a doctor. I'm accepted to medical school, so that means I got, if, I, if I'm going to go when I'm 62, that means I got four years of medical school, and then I have to do internship and residency, but I finished my undergraduate stuff and took my MCATs and applied to med school when I got in, and I'm deferring. So technically, you you had that choice that most people don't have. All right, you were accepted to medical school or be uh, a rock star, quote yeah, unquote, right? Yeah. So it was, a, it was a good it was a good fallback. So well, who? Not like mine, or it's just uh, in the streets, or uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just like yeah, you know, join a live crime. Sleep on a slice infested bed for another <laughs> month, but you can uh, go out on a bus. So do you, dude? You got sleep on a slice infested bed on a bus. <laughs> That's not so bad, right? But Sean, you 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 uh, you were a or are one of the two a world champion frisbee player. Yes. What the? What is that? I mean, give uh, me. It's pretty much how it sounds. I'm a world champ. But what? <laughs> I, I, mean, I, 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 I can play frisbee, I think. But what is? What's the difference between you and me, and for as far as frisbee skills? I was bred for it. I uh, I grew up playing ultimate frisbee because we are from kind of a hippie mecca town called Boulder, Colorado, and my dad was a frisbee player, and I grew up playing it. I actually went the first year of college I played, and I, I went to Finland and played in the world, and I won. No so. kidding. <laughs> now we're talking like you jump, you catch, you flip, or is it just like throw it to the yeah, dog and whatever? Flip. No, it's there's like no dogs what involved. Is it, seven on seven? This is an air bud. This is uh, some real <laughs> stuff going on. Wow. Yeah. So how'd you guys, you guys met up, of course, in college, I was told, and then you guys decided to drop all this medical crap and this world champion frisbee crap, and you're going to put get get a real job and become, like, musicians and all that stuff. So that's basically, in, in a nutshell, real what job. went down, right? Yeah, we we met. It was a bit of a bromance. My, my bro over here, Sean, stalked me a little bit. Um, Love it. It's creepy if you know the story, so we won't <laughs> bore you with it. But, uh, no, we met in, in physics class, actually, and uh, started making music. We, we, we liked a lot of the same stuff, and... Uh, Kind of immediately hit it off over you know music and started making making crazy stuff. So. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna send uh, uh, there's a girl that's a fan of 303, and I'm gonna send her to your concert tonight. All right. And if you guys don't mind, she's she wants to get something autographed. Yeah. Probably gonna be like you know, you know, in the chest area. Yeah. So I'm gonna send her backstage. We got her some some credentials, and we're gonna send her back there and see if we can get an autograph. If you guys are down with doing, you know, she's crazy. She's a big fan. All right. Uh, 303 in the studio. Any final thoughts to LA before you guys bail out and go to the show? Uh, we're gonna have fun tonight. We hope you come. We hope you bring your dancing shoes. And uh, thank you very much for playing our song. And if yeah, you like yeah, it, yeah. if you like it, that we're happy that you like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You guys, 303. It's JoJo on the radio. Back in a sec on Kiss FM. <laughs> ah! Hey JoJo, what's up? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Hot fat Daniela's boobs. Oh crap. What? I thought I she did. Oh my god, I showed some area. Hold up. That was not good. Well no, she she's gotta go she's got a little stubble on her boobs, but uh but I think we can probably get through there. She looks she looks dope. She looks great. She looks okay. wonderful. Looks she's she's wearing a little sequin thing. I'm gonna go right. Ew! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The skirt the skirt is great. It's a little jean skirt going on. It looks like it was sewed up, uh, hands sewed up. It looks great. Los Angeles, how the fuck you feeling tonight? Lift your hands up. Lift your chest and yell the street. Plan B, you're gonna see what the fuck is this? Put your chest and body in the street. Put your 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 body in the street.